Hey everybody, we're here at Sea Otter Classic 2023. I've been wandering around for the last day and a half, just talking to some of the vendors who have been kind enough to work with me over the years. Now, if you've never been to Sea Otter, it is pretty overwhelming. You got gravel racing, mountain bike racing, like a thousand vendors at the expo. And I think there's something like 50,000 people attending. But yes, very overwhelming. In this video, I'm just gonna take you around to the brands that I've personally been working with and see what's new with them. I'm at the Richie booth. This is sort of my home for the weekend. Can you tell us what's new with Richie? I would love to. This is the Ascent, so same model that we had before, um, just a new colorway. We call this Desert Dust. Original Ascent branding. Just think it's a really cool throwback and nod to that era. Uh, the Ascent is a bike packing, rigid mountain bike, adventure bike. A little bit of do everything. We have it fitted with our new Coralitos bar, which is really wide. It's got a little bit of rise, shallow drop. The idea is that you can go from the top to the hood to the drop. A lot of really good hand positions without really changing your upper body position. This is the Ultra. Same Ultra that we've had before, just new colorway. Technically it's honey mustard. I think it's more of a stone ground. The mustard connoisseurs out there I'm sure can write in with their own two cents. And as it's set up now, it's just ripper cross country bike. It's what XC riders think of as enduro and what enduro riders would think of as cross country. Really fun. 120, 130 travel bike, capable of a 2.6 tire. So, you know, really very capable mountain bike. Oh, here, I'll show you this other bike that we have. This is our influencer bike. So we're influencing. <laughs> <laughs> I know the guy who put it together and I think he did a really classy job. I'll, I'll let him know. Yeah. Um, so uh, Outback, it's our gravel bike, really fun, rowdy bike. Uh, probably our most popular model right now. Yeah, big tire, fun off-road. Cool, well, thanks a lot for your time, man. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you, great seeing you. Yeah, likewise. This is Lewis from Poseidon. How's what's it going, up, man? dude? Good to can, see you, man. Yeah, man, can you tell us what's new with Poseidon? Yeah, this is the Norton, which I'm sure you're very familiar with. All designed from Spindat. Uh, he helped us design the whole frame. Most mountain bikes in the kind of like the affordable category seem to kind of be more than likely cross-country bikes for the most part. You know, Spindat's kind of whole philosophy and everything was like you wanted a bike that was more suited for trail riding. Yeah. It's definitely a step up from somebody who's riding maybe the Redwood. You can kind of get a little bit more rowdy, but it has all the modern amenities that you need with through axle and boost spacing and everything and, right, you know, right. plenty of room for a solid fork on there. Yeah. Uh, I have mine with us too, so we have a frame-only option. So if you want to kind of build it up your way, you know, you can definitely do that with some some higher end components and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see like what folks are gonna build it up to, you know. The matte black X Ambition is here. You have that updated geometry, the better brakes, the improved saddle, yeah. you know, different tires on there too. So, I mean, so far, so good. Everyone's been really celebratory of just the new geometry choices and everything. You know, the Redwood is still going strong. We have some more colorways kind of coming in. And uh, I think we're gonna try to get some frame sets out, hopefully in the summertime as well, because I know folks are, are ready to kind of build it their way as well. And so right. we're here to oblige. Cool, man. Well, appreciate it. Appreciate yeah, dude. Time. Thank you, man. Yeah, good to see you. I think I see the hunt guys over here. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Nice hey. to see you. Good to see you as well. Yeah, it's been a while. This is Ken from Hunt. Can you tell us what's new with Hunt? Yeah, so the last few months we've been working on a partnership with Classified, integrating their system into our wheel sets. Currently, we have a road and a gravel offering um, for the Classified system. But For those who don't know what the Classified system is. Yeah, essentially it's an internal gearbox in your rear wheel, so it removes the need for a front derailleur. It's like two by without the front derailleur. Correct. And then at the show uh, this week, we announced our mountain bike partnership with Classified. So so we are currently their exclusive mountain bike partner, uh, which is exciting. On the road side, we've been putting in some work to kind of refine and upgrade our hub offerings for the road and gravel. The existing hub was using 6061 alloy. We've gone to 6066 and revised the CNCing and machining to save some weight. All wheels and hubs all designed in-house, which is great. Uh, we've been expanding our engineering capabilities, so we're constantly seeing how we can push boundaries and just create a better ride overall for the everyday cyclist like me. Very cool, man. Yeah. Hey, well, thanks for your time. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Good to see you again. Good to see you as well. <laughs> All right, we got the Blackheart guys. Hey, Zach, how's it going? What's up, Nolan? How are you, man? Good, nice to see you. Can you tell us what's new with uh, Blackheart? Absolutely. We have our original all-road tie bike here. One bike that you can ride as a road bike and as a gravel bike simply by switching wheels. So it's more of a road geometry, but with gravel tire clearance. New for all titanium, we're going to be offering the classified shifting system. So one by up front, get rid of the front derailleur, 
part. So this is the same exact design as the titanium model, but high-end aluminum. So 7005 aluminum, uh, it is double-butted tubing, and effectively, you get the same experience as the tie bike, but at half the price. We're expanding our custom paint program. Uh, this one is by Curtis Bullock, who goes by Save the Postal Service. So we now offer our signature uh, black heart paint, Curtis's paint, and then MPH paint from Mike Hurley in LA. He does really high and beautiful stuff. So we love giving everybody the opportunity to customize their bike. And then the most important thing for 2023, we are launching our new titanium road bike. So this is dedicated road design, fully integrated, electronic only. Drop seat stays, 32 mil tire clearance, T47 bottom bracket. And this is our first step away from the all road, focusing solely on road. Oh man, looks awesome. Glad you guys are doing well. Thanks for your time. Thanks man, we'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah. Let's go check out the five dev booth. I'm actually here with Nick from Newhouse Metalworks. I had a chance to ride the anime bike, which is a one-off that you built for Yuan, and it was it was amazing. Now, okay, everyone's probably asking you, how is it that these feel so compliant and soft? Yeah, so a big part of it is the 3D printed yokes that we use, um, and we're able to match the, the wall thickness of the welded components to the seat tube, allowing us to use a wider variety of seat stay sizes. And that's that's really kind of the, the secret to it, right, is that we just take the, we take the thin tube and we put that weld in a much more structurally um, happy place. <laughs> because otherwise you're welding right on the seat tube. And right, now you've got a thin tube welded to a thick tube, different diameters and everything. And so the bike you rode had, um, you know, like a half inch seat stay, which, you know, if you put that on an inch and three eighths tube, doesn't give you a ton of welded surface area. Whereas this, you know, you've got a nice weld right in compression, and then you've got a large, equally thick piece welded to the seat tube to help spread that load out and transfer it into the top tube. Well, I really appreciate your time, Nick. It's nice to meet you in person. Yeah, thanks, Dylan. I'm here with Daniel Yang, who is sort of the mastermind behind the tech of the new house bikes. Can you tell us a little bit about the 3D printing and all the stuff that's happening at Newhouse? Yeah, sure. I'm here with my buddy Nolan <laughs> and I have some 3D printed pipe fittings that I'm selling to people. Just kidding. You can get these at Home Depot, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In all seriousness, Newhouse Metalworks has a very utilitarian approach to 3D printing where we only use printed parts in areas that either save time or cost. Our bikes look beautiful, but it's more like a function over form. So we have the chainsaw yoke, which is used to clear the chain ring and the tire clearance. This thing saves an hour of work. And in the titanium part, it actually saves, I think, $150. And this invention is really cool. In academia, you're always a baller if you have a constant named after you. So I named this like Y yoke for my last name, and it looks like a Y. And this guy is what people typically call the seat lug, and it connects the top tube to the seat stays. So this guy both looks really cool and also saves probably 45 minutes. Cool, man. Well, I'm looking forward to working with these guys more. I have a sneaking suspicion that I will someday end up with a new house of my own. But until then, thanks, Daniel. Yeah. Really appreciate your time. All right, well, I am freaking exhausted. It's been a long two days. It's been really fun to see the people that I've been working with, the brands and the other YouTube channels. I'm definitely planning to come back next year. It's been a ton of fun. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, we'll see you next time.